I don't know why people be trying to talk to me like we just friends and everything and try to be all passive aggressive. Listen, if you got a narrative or something you're trying to swing, I'm going to ignore you and we ain't going to be nice and buddy buddy because I see now y'all trying to start narratives acting like Tyson Fury actually um because he looked bad against Ngannou that Anthony Joshua is a better fighter and he got a better chance. He's not a better fighter. He doesn't have more of a chance. He's not a better fighter because he went out there and beat his sparring partner who fought in, uh, Tyson Fury. Now, that's not a big deal. And then for, for y'all to say, oh, Otto, uh, Tyson Fury looked uh, bad against Otto Wallen. It took y'all cowards four years to say that, three or four years to say that he looked bad against Otto Wallen. Y'all are cowards, man. Keep go, Hey, keep listening to those guys who talk about boxing. It took them three or four years to say that Tyson Fury looked bad against Otto Wallen. Those cowards. But we finna listen to them about um Anthony Joshua. Come on, bro. Like, let's stop it. He doesn't have a chance. To get, he doesn't have more of a chance than Fury. He had the same chance Fury had. People are like, oh, yeah, uh, Anthony Joshua. Because in Ganu, now all the fights Fury had, he the best and all the other stuff. They, they weren't begging for no Anthony Joshua and Fury fight all these years. But now they like, oh, Anthony Joshua, he's the best. So, yeah, he definitely needs – um, he's better than uh, just the style, the way the style match up. He's better than what uh, Fury is. Now he better than Fury? Do y'all hear that? Tyson Fury finna fight for an undisputed match. That's why I said the undisputed match is basically a joke, bro. Y'all, y- your own countrymen saying that it's a joke. Y'all just admit it now. The Tyson Fury Usa fight is a joke. Nobody really wants to see it. Oh, Tyson Fury, he looked bad against a gun anyway. So, am I wasting my time watching him against Usa? Yes, according to y'all, yes. I'm wasting my time watching him against Usa. Okay, so this is how bad they want to protect Anthony Joshua. I'm just letting y'all know because this, this is the crap these dudes saying. They saying uh, that he looked bad against him then. They turn around and try to make it seem like, well, Ngannou, he didn't really do much. If Ngannou didn't do much against Tyson Fury, and Tyson Fury had all those black eyes on his face, and Tyson Fury has walking around and fought all these guys around here, and he got black eyes like that, and he only got, uh, and Ngannou only won two rounds, that's, that's trouble for Anthony Joshua. And why is Anthony Joshua fighting a guy who never won a boxing match in his life? Are we going to ask that question? So, Anthony Joshua beating the guy who never won a boxing match. Bro, this is an easy fight. You fighting the guy who never won a boxing match. Y'all acting like we he finna fight a guy who won a boxing match before. He never won a boxing match. And people are like, oh, man, this is a big deal. And, and Gano just, he's not ready. Of course he's not ready. He's not a boxer. Tell your boy to fight a boxer. Can we ask that? Why are we not focusing on that? Like, what is going on? Like, people are exposing themselves, bro. And I hate when guys be like, oh, I'm a so-and-so fan. I'm a so-and-so. Nobody asks. You just come in and say that, but nobody asks what kind of fan you are. I don't come in and say, yeah, you know, but I'm a Wilder fan. And uh, I just feel like Anthony Joshua. No, bro, it's the truth. I'm just saying the facts, no matter who it is. I say the same thing about Anthony Joshua, Louise, Parker. Anybody. But do you guys do that? No, you don't. So I don't let other grown men try to police me into doing something that they won't do. A coward can never get me to try to do something. You understand what I'm saying? So basically, with the whole Anthony Joshua thing, y'all don't even realize what's going on. Y'all want a guy who never won a boxing match to prove... To Anthony Joshua that he's worth being in boxing. I ain't nobody got time to be proven or nothing. If he got to prove something, he need to go to the Little Leagues. If Anthony Joshua still got to prove himself against the uh, MMA fighter, he got he need to go to the Little Leagues himself. People are like, yeah, the Ngannou fight was close, so I feel like Anthony Joshua was a better boxer. He a better boxer? <laughs> These dudes is clowns, bro. They say, they hey, as soon as 2024 hit, they came up with it. Anthony Joshua, better boxing than Fury. 
Oh, okay. He's a better boxer than Fury. I'm sorry to tell you guys, but to hear stuff like that come out of people's mouth, it lets you know that this world has a long way to go. Nobody's ever sat around here and said Anthony Joshua was a better boxer than, uh, than Fury. All these guys been talking about, yeah, Fury, he moves around like Ali. And he had Manuel Stewart and Sugar Hill, his trainer. And look what he's done. He's a knockout machine. He, he's got power in his right hand now. He just, he got crazy power. Now I'm hearing people complaining about gloves now. Bro, y'all don't hear me complaining about gloves on this channel. Y'all don't hear me complaining about gloves. Uh, I don't even know what y'all talking about. I'm going to act like I don't even know what that is. I, I, I don't bring those excuses to this page. That's the thing that's going to kill y'all. That's going to hurt y'all. I don't bring those excuses to these pages. None of them. I don't bring excuses about, oh, this happened and Fury was 275 and he was wild. It was 205 and he was 213. Then he had to go up to 213 and he still weighed 40 less pounds even though he ballooned up. And was slow, and I don't come with no excuses. I just say, yeah, he lost. But what about your boy Anthony Joshua, though? He lost, too, to a cruiserweight. Man, Wilder never lose to a cruiserweight. Wilder would, Wilder would get a cruiserweight off the face of this earth if he was at cruiserweight. He would get a cruiserweight off the face of this earth, and he's a cruiserweight. Wilder's at cruiserweight right now. He's fighting at heavyweight just... Y'all don't even know it. Like, Fury's best win is a cruiserweight. Why there ain't no heavyweight, naturally? But that's why I know, like, oh, okay, that's the best. If Wilder's the best thing that it, uh, at Fury has beaten, how can the talent over there be better when your best win is an American? <sighs> Just stuff not adding up. I get real tired of having to address stuff like this, but I really do it, though, so I can kind of bring out the snakes and see who really want to say some dumb stuff and don't really make sense, so I can kind of weed you out the way. And people don't really like that around, bro. We don't like to argue back and forth with people who don't really know what's going on. Like, we have other things to do. We can talk business with people who knows what's going on. We're not, we don't want to lose money and time trying to talk to somebody. We don't have time to educate people. If I wanted to go get a child to educate, I was just gonna have another child to educate. Don't nobody wanna sit up around here and educate no grown ups about the stuff that goes on in their country. If your boxing media is not reporting the news the way I am, then that's just an issue that you need to take up with them. Talking about Anthony Joshua. Oh, Fury lost, so Anthony Joshua, he got a better chance. That don't mean nothing, bro. That don't mean nothing. 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 The, the Fury and Anthony Joshua comparisons, it's just a little media tactic to try to build a fight up. But what's funny is they're trying to make it seem like Usyk's going to win, but they keep talking about Fury and Anthony Joshua. If you think Usyk's going to win, he, that's why they, bro, they don't think uh, Usyk has a chance. They're just saying that to kind of build it up. But why would Anthony Joshua sit up here and say, yeah, uh, you see, notice everybody over in the UK saying, yeah, Usyk has a chance, but when the Anthony Joshua and Fury fight happens, what? And that's going to be on my next video I'm going to build on because I have to address all this clown stuff because I'm only going to address it once, and then that's going to be it. And then I'm on to the next because I got real news to report on. I got news that hasn't even came out yet. I got news that came out three or four years ago that's just now coming out. I mean, not three or four years ago, but three or four months ago. So at the same time, shoot, six months ago, I got news that haven't even came out yet still that I put out. So I don't got time to be addressing this. But it is things you have to address because at the same time, the whole boxing world saying it's all fans. Oh, because Usyk. I mean, because Fury looked bad against Ngannou, that means Anthony Joshua got to look better than Fury does. No way he looks bad against an MMA fighter. 
Told y'all. I put out all these videos already. I'm just exposing it, man. It is what it is, though. It's just a game. It's WWE, WCW, all that kind of mixture. Guys on one side and they on the other one. It just, it, 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 it just, it just confused. It caused confusion. It's all marketing and promotion. But uh, I'm going to tell y'all a reason in the future. And I'm not going to make access to this video to everybody. But I got a video coming up in the future that's going to explain why. If you're still listening to this video, none of these guys are going to boss each other. No. I got a, a lot of reasons. But the other reason I'm not gonna I'm gonna save that for another time. But that's all I got though. Like and subscribe.